in our society, we have sort of these ideas about what it means to be a man, what it means to be a woman, um, that, that sort of shape our attitudes. And men are raised to be sort of stoic, self-reliant, and they don't really ever, they're not really seen to be potentially victims or to be victimized. They're often cast as the people who do the victimizing. If you've had extreme pain, distress because of sexual violence, you may turn to coping through using drugs and alcohol as a way of managing that pain or forgetting that pain. And that can lead to a whole nother set of, of issues. You may um, find that your ability to engage in relationships is, is challenged and so you may actually have difficulty having intimate romantic relationships. You may have difficulty trusting other adults and so that can affect your ability to have positive relationships with teachers which means that may affect your schooling. It may have difficulty having positive relationships with employers and that may affect your work and your ability to actually earn you know a living wage we see that people have experienced sexual abuse and have not had an opportunity to develop um, coping skills or to heal from that may actually experience poorer employment histories they may have difficulty staying in school and completing school and all of these things can affect their their future some young people actually seem to be able to heal and to cope and to survive and sometimes even thrive beyond that trauma, um, something that we call traumatic growth. And so part of what we are interested in doing in our research is figuring out what is it that's different about their lives, whether it's about the relationships and the support they have around them, whether it's about um, the other opportunities that they have or about sort of wider environments that make it easier for them to cope with the distress and the trauma and to um, bounce back, if you will, to be resilient and to do well um, or to respond, heal quicker, if you will, than others who struggle lifelong. And, and part of that clearly seems to be the level of support that they get from people they care about. We need to actually raise awareness that boys and young men, just like girls and young women and transgendered young people, are at risk of being sexually abused or sexually exploited or sexually assaulted. That boys and young men can experience sexual violence and the people who are doing that sexual violence can be men, can be women, can be peers. 